Hello everyone. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, gold. Um, apparently, a lot of people are watching gold, and that's that's okay because gold is gold is in fact a great tool to uh, great great market to be trading. Um, when you're looking at price action, uh, there are very clear structures in gold as well. Um, a little story behind gold. Gold is related to the U.S. dollar, of course. Um, in times like these, uh, today it's March the third. 2017 we saw last week that the dollar was rallying so that means dollar strength against uh, gold so that would indicate in this case that price went down uh, matter of fact it did as you can see on the chart already this is the weekly chart um, so I, I will I will get into that uh, later on uh, but for now keep in mind that uh, when I trade gold I look of course at, at this chart this is the, the gold uh, against the US dollar chart uh, but also I watch the dollar uh, index um, because that gives me a clue on where uh, this price is going as well but let's zoom into that later on this is the weekly chart uh, we have seen gold from its peak almost at 1920 it's been in a downward uh, movement from there on out of course this is a very big time frame so that's uh, there's a lot of information on here so when I draw in some lines we can see that we have just reached a pretty important resistance um, as you can see uh, what I often do uh, for now I want to show you guys uh, how, how I use that tool so I point out um, supply and demand zones this is a nice supply zone over here as you can see price uh, comes in this zone it often pulls back so um, when I, 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 I was I, I was not trading gold until now so maybe I'll add it to my watch list after this analysis but the thing I first see when I see this is that gold actually reached this um, supply zone again and we saw a reaction right away because uh, there is more power needed to to, to pull through this uh, through this level um, I'm gonna move the this zone for now because I'm not trading supply and demand on the weekly so that's it's just noise when I put it on the charts um, another one I see is this one acted as resistance earlier on uh, price struggled around this area quite sometimes same thing we see over here price tried to make another high but actually this resistance was too strong and price fell down so that's another important line I want to watch of course this this line is an important line as well as you can see it acted as support over here it's support again um, here it was support so there's there is some meaning to that line what do we have here we have some support over here as well and finally we have a support over here now I know you guys are not trading the weekly of course um, Although it is possible to trade the, the bigger the bigger time frame if you're a trend trader and you're looking for some big moves, uh, it's a strategy as well. If you want to trend trade this one, you can find another an, a nice entry and you just let it ride. If you think that is going to be a convincing trend uh, in this setup, um, then maybe you can uh, make huge profits by uh, by trend trading it. I do not have a feeling a lot of people are trend trading. Not, not a lot of people I talk to on. Uh, on Instagram mm. a matter of fact a lot of people ask me um, <laughs> I have a lot of people asking me sir gold right now up down should I get in should I get out that's not the way trading work guys I, I'm not gonna name uh, name name the people who, who ask me that it's not right it's not wrong but you know it's I'm, I'm happy you asked me the question here's my answer if you ask me the question I have to answer right away then you are not in control of your trading. You're in panic, and you're asking me, uh, as a professional trader, what to do. <coughs> that's 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 not going to help you at all. Um, if you ask me the question, my advice would be close out all your positions and go back to the drawing board because your trading is a mess. So um, I just want to help. So this is some some feedback uh, to to some of you. Um, let's continue on the analysis. So this is the weekly chart. Let's zoom in to the daily where it gets a little bit. Inter more interesting for you guys 
Um, what do we see over here? Well, we see that price came down pretty aggressive last year. Um, some people call it a Trump rally. The US dollar got pretty strong. Uh, also, the Fed is uh, has hiked the rate in December, and it is potentially hiking the rate again in March. Uh, they're, they're, they're talking about a March hike. We have to see. We don't know yet, but that is uh, that is an, a scenario. So uh, let's keep that in mind. Um, this is the daily chart we're looking at, and we see that from January, price uh, of gold seemed to have bottomed out and is moving in an uptrend uh, again. Um, of course, looking at this bigger picture, it is just maybe a move up, and we are seeing some continuation um, of this trend along the way. So, for example, if we try to draw in a trend line, we can see that price bounced off this uh, this trend line. So this could be a potential short setup because uh, when price breaks this level, we can see more upside potential. But for some reason, this uh, that didn't happen. Um, there are a lot of horizontal line lines to, to be drawn here this was another one uh, it, it got broken uh, I'm not gonna put it in right now but just to give you guys a picture um, of course a very obvious trend line is this one because price has been moving up maybe I would have drawn it like this and that trend line matter of fact got broken um, so this, this, these are the first things I see when I am doing my analysis and I switch to the 4 hour chart as well where we can see this great pattern of this high, this pullback, re-enter zone around the trend line then another high, a pullback, re-enter zone, potential re-enter zone I would have drawn a trend line in here as well and then we saw this top, price came down, broke this recent low, made a couple of lows but this trend line eventually hold held um, then it price moved away from it pretty convincing and the way then we made a double top so let me point that out for you guys price tried to break through this level but it didn't happen then it fell back and came back to this level for a second attempt and didn't happen so that's a clue of a double top price came back but the trend line acted as support again and price moved back this is not just trend line that support I see now but we have a support line over here as well where price struggled around before so then a third time gold price did an attack on that resistance line and a matter of fact it broke and price moved away pretty convincing on the bigger time frame we drawn we drew in this uh, trend line and you can see that price was struggling to get through it didn't happen and now we are in seeing a sell-off in gold and it actually broke this trend line the first time it broke but got back up um, so on a daily chart this shows us a nice pin bar then a second attempt and price broke and is uh, moving to the downside right now so if you want to count this one as a low the low over here got broken and we're moving uh, downward um, well price is actually right now as we speak struggling to hold to, to, to break this uh, support if it does, then we have a, another clue that uh, we are seeing lower lows uh, in this market. So until now, the analysis now, I, I would say there is more downside potential than I see more upside potential. Um, let me show you, show you with some indicators if we can find some confirmation on that uh, theory. I often use a relative strength index. Let me see what that brings us. Um, we were seeing a high and a, a high at the same level. We saw some divergence on here. The divergence is the fact that we see something else on the RSI than we are seeing on price action. We were seeing that the new upside momentum, but we saw that momentum was fading on the relative strength. But then we saw another move up, and we actually saw the same thing on, on, on price action um, I'm not really feeling the divergence thing on this chart because this this high represents this high so 
and then afterward we saw the sell-off and we see the same over here so to me the relative strength index does not give us a clue on a four hour chart let's see how that looks on a daily well I think it's the same thing it's too it's not convincing that we are seeing lows so let's go back um, so the sell-off is, is uh, happening right now let's put in um, a moving average or is it moving average over here so what we're seeing is that uh, the moving average uh, got broken and the retest uh, of two, two times retest didn't uh, break the moving average so we are actually trading below the moving average right now so this is some more confirmation that we are moving to the downside uh, downside momentum on the RSI is showing the same um, that being said um, this is a very important zone to watch I would not go short right now because this could be a potential bounce to the upside as well so we have to see a break of this uh, line and then we see some new um, support over here that has to be broken as well and if it does then we have some some more downside potential um, the same thing like I said in the beginning of the video um, this this is gold against the US dollar so let me switch to the um, dollar index the dollar index in trading view shows you just shows the chart on a daily this is quite the opposite you see that gold was going up uh, we saw that gold was going down at the end of the year so this is the opposite move then we saw a correction in the dollar um, it broke this low which got quite interesting those two support zones got broken got tested a little bit and then this trend line uh, appeared over here As of course it, uh, it just appeared because uh, this this happened but then again price started moving back up we saw a nice rally the last couple of days last couple of uh, this, this is two weeks I think uh, and we are actually struggling around this resistance um, there's a potential head and shoulder pattern in here um, so if price continues to the upside we will see we have to see a break of this area and then we have some more potential if it doesn't we can see this one fall back maybe touch the tr trend line or test this support zone these lows and then go for another move we don't know yet so we have to watch the dollar index as well but for now the dollar looks strong so when you're trading gold that means that the dollar is pushing uh, gold down let's go back to gold oh this is the wrong chart sorry guys this is the right one so this is where we at right now let's switch to the four hour chart again so we had a pretty decent up move right now we are seeing a down move and I I I want to see a couple of things um, this area to me needs to be broken if it does break uh, I see a move further but then already over here we see the next uh, support so price will struggle again um, we potentially see a retest of this support that's quite a obvious scenario if it d does if, if this uh, support now of course resistance holds we can see another move down and if this area breaks then um, then we will see some a very nice move I think all the way down here because that's the first area where we'll be seeing some real support so translating this one into a short trade that would be an entry around here and of course if the level the resistance doesn't hold we will be out um, the first move will be over here this support needs to be broken and if it does we have some we have a pretty nice uh, a nice trade so um, yeah well I think I think this is it. this is the current current scenario for gold. So if the, if the dollar uh, index, if the dollar continues to get stronger, we will see some more pressure on gold, and we actually see a downward move. Um, if if this moves further down, I want to draw in some new things. Maybe some trend lines we can spot. We can. Uh, this is too steep to to really draw some things on, but 
you know this can be a potential support area this maybe again so let's see let's see what happens this is uh, this is an interesting chart um, let me see on the daily if we can draw in another trend line maybe to connect this one I think that is possible but doesn't really bring us anything um, okay so I want to do one more thing um, just just to check it out just to show you guys what more of a this one so Fibonacci's um, the price came all the way up here Let's zoom in a little bit so uh, the way you use Fibonacci's is uh, like this uh, you, you, you connect the low extreme to the high extreme well, in this case we would have seen a 100% retracement so this is not a low we can use right now but this is in fact a very strong very convincing low so that means in fact that we are at a um, 78.6 Fibonacci retracement uh, it's no coincidence that that's the same area as where this resistance is um, as you experiment with the Fibonacci levels you will see that those levels often connect uh, exactly with the levels um, on the charts where you you draw your uh, support and resistance based on price action um, for now uh, let me switch it up over here a little bit so we can read those numbers as you can see this is this is uh, this this if this is just a correction price next week price will potentially bounce off this support zone maybe we see some uh, some pin bar over here because some shorts will get um, some longs will get squeezed out maybe some shorts some 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 cleaning up ra happens around here um, and then price will take off uh, maybe this scenario will happen and price will take off back we'll head back up and we will see some nice uh, we will probably see some resistance when we reach this trend line again um, the bigger picture everything changes when this trend line gets broken because on the bigger picture we are seeing uh, a, a real move a real um, swing in this one but with a strong dollar I don't know I don't know what's happening with gold um, I think that's it for now I hope I, uh, I gave you a clear picture of where gold is at right now um, it's up to you of course how you trade this uh, do you wanna zoom in right now and do you wanna um, are you considering going long from in just small scalping uh, trades on the on the hourly chart, for example? That's up to you. It's not my style, but you know that's that's up to you. I, I even on the hourly chart, we're moving very convincingly, convincing below this moving average, so I wouldn't get burned over there. Um, or if you are a skilled and patient patient trader you will uh, watch these levels closely we have to see if the support gets gets broken or not if uh, if retests uh, hold or not and um, we'll see a potential bounce looking at the Fibonacci there is room for uh, this was a massive correction so maybe we see room for another bounce let's see uh, it's today it's Friday Friday of course is not the ideal day to take to take trades right before the weekend we never know what happens in the weekend and of course Mondays are days where trades often uh, go in a totally different direction to find to find their way and then continue the bigger trend on Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday um, for now this is the bigger picture last thing I want to say um, I hope I gave you guys a picture of why I do multi multi time frame analysis uh, so you so you know where price is on the bigger chart of course you you sometimes what people zoom in on the hourly chart they reach a a very strong resistance or or that trend line up there um and they are just going long or going short and they know don't know the, the bigger time frame where the real the real resistance or support is and then you are just you you get eaten in the markets um the, the professionals uh, take your money because you are just going long just below this trend line is the dumbest thing you can do if you don't draw it in you don't know where it is so when price starts rallying you think ah oh, this looks good gold's going back up again let's buy something over here and then we see this this line price falls back and continue to go lower so you know ne you never know this you, in trading you use probabilities if the probability is on your side you take the trade but you manage your risk as well 
Um, there's a lot on this chart. Good luck with that. I'm happy to, to answer some more questions. Follow me on YouTube where I do my uh, my bigger uh, analysis. And um, I think with 20 minutes uh, we can uh, we can leave gold for what it is. And um, I think we will see some nice setups next week. Happy trading.